Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Inspired Decor. My name is Shelly, and I am so happy that you joined me today to see how I decorate this beautiful armoire with garland and all sorts of things on the top for my 2018 series. I don't sure, I'm not sure if I said part 15, but if I didn't, I'm saying it now. Anyway, we're gonna show you the very top of the armoire. I already have a piece of video that shows how I've set up the infrastructure for that. I always decorate this armoire for Christmas and before I get into the nitty gritty on how I decorate the garland, I, I thought I'd just show you what I do to set up what I'll call the structure of this base. So the first thing we put on is that massive wreath and it's in pinks and there's some purples and, and silvers and you'll notice I've mixed my metals here because I love that look. And then within that, so that, that is actually on a huge wreath stand that I bought at Pier 1. And then you'll notice there's a really big cake stand with a white bow on it. And underneath that, there's a really sturdy box that I've just wrapped in pink wrapping paper because this whole vignette will very much be in the pink tones and the creams and some golds and, and obviously some silvers as well. There's another box that I have wrapped and you'll notice a little reindeer is sitting on it. You'll also notice that to the side I have a church and some candlesticks in front of it and over here is another church as well and then I have a couple of cake plates with some greenery waiting to be put on them and it's entirely possible that I will have yet another cake stand up there as well not entirely sure um, how it's going to all fit in and I won't know that until I get working so the next uh, phase is obviously to put the garland on I, I put really thick gar garland and uh, onto this particular armoire and it has to be well secured because like all of my other garden garland, it will be laden with ornaments. So next time you see me, that garland will be up. And now you'll see the finished result before I fully decorate the garland. you will notice I put the Santa on the cake stand and I have that beautiful Christmas plate and a Santa on another cake stand beside it with some greenery on the cake stand and of course some candles and you can see the church peeking out the back and the clock, that was a gift from my dad. I always need to have that clock in the room so I can know what time it is. And then you'll see the beginning of what I've done with the garland. And I'll talk more about that when I decorate the garland with you. reindeer they're so glassy I love those reindeer so much and I never take them down because I'm always afraid that they'll break so the next thing I do is I put my precious moments on the garland and I'll come back when that piece is done so the precious moments are on and there, there's a total of 12 precious moments on this tree. I put the mom and the dad in the middle and then all of the others with the exceptions of the ones that are on the end zone are all about our daughters. They're either sister ornaments, 
or daughter ornaments in precious moments. And then the ones on the very, very end of the tree are when my husband and I first got married. It was funny because I bought him one and he bought me one, so we have two that are the same, but it was, it was really cute the morning when we opened them because obviously I didn't know he bought me one and he didn't know I bought him one, so that was fun. And now every year we each buy each other a precious moments. And you know, sometimes you buy the same one, but not usually. Usually we do a pretty good job of figuring out what the other one would like. So the next thing I do is I put the glass balls on. So I will start doing that with you, and then I'm just gonna go grab a couple. And of course, these are always interesting to put on because you don't wanna break them, right? And yes, I have broken them in the past. And I try to do some sort of a pattern. So when you come back, you'll see. Now, I have a whole, there's really a variety of different uh, glass balls that I use, and they're all in the pinky and the mauve tone. Just to give this a little more color, and to really work with everything that's above it. So now all of the glass balls are on and you can see I have begun to put these really pretty snowflakes. They're frosty, they're just gorgeous. I buy these at um, Frank in Frankenmuth. There's a beautiful Christmas store there that I absolutely love. It's called Bronner's. I'm, I'm sure I have over a hundred of these snowflakes, not that I bought them all at the same time. I buy 10 here and 20 there and 30 there, and I have to have over 100 now because I've bought so many of them. I know every time we go, my husband says, do we really need more? And I say, yeah, I, I think we do. And somehow I always find, you know, places to use them every single year. So I'll show you where I put one on, and then I'll finish putting these on. And then I have some other fun things to put on too. You're really gonna like them. So really all I do is I grab a branch because what I want to have happen, and again, I'm sorry for my back, but you're seeing my back, is I want them to stand up. And this is where, you know, you, good quality garland makes all the difference because if it's stiff enough, then they will stand. And you see, they just stand up and it gives more dimension to your garland. So I'll have some drape down the side so they won't be standing up. And then you'll see some other fun things I'm gonna do. And they're up, and I'll just move this. You can see them down the side of the garland as well. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. Then the next thing I put on, these are, believe it or not, napkin rings. I bought them at Pier 1 this year. When I came home, my husband said, well, you don't set the table at Christmas in pink. I said, I know, but I'm going to use them at Christmas to decorate the armoire garland. And he looked at me oddly and I said, and then when we have our Valentine's dinner, I said, I will use these as napkin rings because in Canada, it's so cold in February. So it's perfect, just perfect. See, I, if I can find a multi-use, I will. And that's my justification for buying more Christmas. So all I do with these is I just stand them up in the garland. Look at that, look how cute is that? Move it in so you can see it a little bit better. Look how cute is that? Little trees standing up, little pink trees standing up. Love it, love it. I'll finish that off and then I'll be back shortly. So the last thing I have done is put these little tiny bells on. I'll see if I can get you to see them a little better. I only have six of them. So I just take these little bells and I just pop these really just on the two end pieces. They're little Victorian bells that I bought a number of years ago. I don't even remember where I bought those. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me decorate garland. It takes me some time to decorate it because I am so picky about where every little thing goes. These doors on this armoire get open and closed all the time because I have my television in there. I just hate to see a black hole in the middle of a room, especially in my favorite room. But we do open it obviously because, you know, watch the news and 60 Minutes and obviously City Line because I'm a real City Line and Marilyn Dennis lover. 
So this is, you know, what, what I love to do with this armor. And when I am watching television, it's really pretty to see all of the stuff around it. And I know when my friend Melissa and I would sit in this room and we'd have a glass of wine and she'd look at the tree and what we do with the garlands uh, and, the, and the rest of the room, you know, she would say to me, Shelly, this is so you, all of this pink. Pink is my favorite color. If the whole world had a little bit more pink in it, I'm convinced people would be happier. I'm convinced the world would be a much better place because I know when I'm in my pink house, this is where I am truly, truly happy. The next video you're going to see is how I decorate my mantle for Christmas. Yeah, I think you saw a little bit of a peek when I did the tree. I've certainly got to finish that off. I've got a lot of work to do. And what I do to style the coffee table. Anyway, until next time, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you find out more videos that are yet to come. And yes, believe it or not, there are more. You haven't seen the foyer yet, which is so pretty. And of course, we're gonna do something outside, I think. It'll be depending on the weather, because if we get a horrific you know, weather spell, it'll be difficult for my husband you know, to get that done, and he pretty much does the bulk of that outside. Anyway, until next time, thumbs up, bye-bye.